Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's Tips and Tricks is looking at Alpha 20.6 Stable and the brand new advanced generation system that they've added on. We have different world sizes. We have the ability to pick which biomes are in there. I found a couple of little teensy bugs with it all. And also I worked out how you can make a completely flat 1K map. <laughs> So let's get in there by clicking on new game and when we have the game world set to new random world we have the ability as per usual to stick in a world generation seed and that you can pick from six eight or 10k maps here now if we click on advanced generation then we get all the new goodies again you can pick your world seed but we have different world sizes now a lot more than i think we had previously 10 going down each and every number all the way down to a whoppingly small 2k map which is quite cool we have the usual where we can pick towns and wilderness pois etc as in none few default or many but we also have these extra sections over here. So plains, hills and mountains, we can select them still. But now we see the percentages. And as we change one, we can also see what percentages um, the others have. Which kind of, it's, it's a nicer way to show it for sure. But this is the really interesting bit. It is the ability to pick biomes. So let's say you just wanted to uh, play without snow. Then you can remove that to zero. Or if you wanted to make everything pine forest then you would remove everything else and you're left with that the only bug or one of the two bugs that i found really about all of this is that you can then it's a silly one isn't it you can you can drag this bar up and down when you get to zero it becomes zero but it's that a bit silly i don't know just just the way it is just the way it is the other one that i found is that sometimes if you don't have enough of something like let's say you produced a map like this with only five percent snow then you just probably won't get any snow at all so what we're going to do now is we're going to produce a map and we are going to be able to see on the right hand side here we're going to be able to see the preview and now at last we have the ability to change the quality because sometimes this can really affect your computer when this preview loads up so you can bring it all the way down to the lowest and if you want to go all the way to the highest you can for sure in fact let's do that let's make something at the highest level for you to see and if i go for a standard 6k map which usually takes my computer in 20.5 i don't know maybe about five six minutes if i just randomly hit the keyboard what we have to do now and many people mention these things in my comments where they say oh, i don't know how to find my map and everything this is what you've got to look at at the top here you have to write this down um i've got a weird one today kuwibu mountains there we go you have to remember that because when you go back that is the map you're going to have to produce and if you then decide to change settings here and you fail to change the seed it will just keep making the same map over and over and over again overwriting so you won't get multiple maps so you have to be aware of that so we've picked something we've got snow at five percent um, and let's hit the button generate the world and uh, we'll see how long it takes and we'll see what the highest preview quality looks like so there we go under two minutes that's a lot quicker than it used to be for sure which is a nice thing of course we're waiting for the preview to appear on the right hand side and i've noticed it doesn't matter which quality you use it still takes quite a bit of time for that preview to appear i don't really want to click on this side here in case i kind of mess up the viewpoint but there it is so if you've got this and they don't know i've made a video on this before but if you right click and hold on this map then you can spin it around and mess around with it now this is the highest quality and you can see it drawing those beautiful pois and in fact that looks quite a nice little map i'll try and re i've just messed it up haven't I? i've gone upside down all over the place Oh, I should have not touched it at all. But there it is. If you have a look at it, this is the other main bug that I've actually found. Uh, not a user interface bug, but an actual bug with it. There is my beautiful map. We have got 45% pine forest. Mm, looks pretty good. 27% desert. There it is on the left here. We've got wasteland 23%, even though it 
kind of looks maybe a bit bigger I'm not sure it's a similar size but where's our snow now if you don't have something I, I haven't worked it out yet but if you're not into the 20 percent or maybe 15 percent the, the stuff just doesn't appear now I'm gonna have to do a bit more testing maybe in the comments if you found out um, how to do this or maybe I've done something completely wrong here today then please tell me so I'm going to right click and hold and I'm going to hold W and I'm going to fly down to this map if I hold C then I'm going to start I should start moving downwards moving up you can't really see it because I'm so far away from the land so I'm going to hold shift as well and hopefully go faster and faster and faster and faster and get right down there but when we do eventually get there we can fly about and see this in super highest preview quality now you can see that the mountains are very crisp and clear you can see a lot of detail in there it's simply how much detail they put into this part and also at the highest level you get to see a lot more detail now on the buildings themselves all the different parts to it and a lot of the extra whoops it's very hard to fly about in this mode for sure all the words are on the top so there is house old mansard 04 and you can see the different roads and all of that so it looks a pretty good map it doesn't have <laughs> Not much to it because I've got no snow let's try and up the snow a little bit so let's go maybe to um, 12 percent yeah let's go to 12 percent and then what we're going to do is we're going to produce our preview at the very lowest quality so we can see the difference there we go another map only one minute and 44 seconds for this one we've got the preview quality at the lowest and we want to see if we get any snow now sometimes if you generate a second map without hitting the back key and then coming back the preview is not necessarily back in the middle of the map there you go it's remembered my previous setting so if you had left your view in this position you would end up never seeing the map now this is a lot easier to handle and move about and if i head down to the pois you will see that we have much lower quality mountains now and also we do not actually have any uh, actual points of interest any pois drawn on the map we only have their labels which is uh, which still shows you roughly the size of these things and everything but of course if you don't know what they are then well you're, you're, it's going to be harder to visualize them but if you don't want to know what they are then of course i'm reviewing every single one aren't i i'm um, every single one this household ranch 08 and i three times a week a video comes out with those and we get to learn every single nook and cranny of these things now I've added the snow to 12%, it's actually appeared on the map. I've done it before with 10%, we got next to nothing. Well, that's quite a nice little map, to be fair. If you have a look at it, we can see that we have um, a couple of cities, two, three. Maybe that's just a big town. We've got those in the green zone, a nice bit of water here, a nice bit of mountain. The roads are well placed out. We have got all of this in the wasteland, which is really good at the top. The desert, there's a bit of journey out in the desert, like it would really really be in the desert and one town in the snow zone i think this is a great map what i'll do is a kuwibu is that right kuwibu mountains i'll put this now on my discord server so if you join my discord server you'll be able to download this map a nice little six k map that's turned out very well and we got a lot more coming on the discord server soon because well i'm saving it all up for when we get to a thousand subs which is not far away so please hit that button now if we go through here you can see all the maps i've ever generated but there is kuwibu mountains and as long as i type a game name that i've never typed before so it doesn't go red then i can hit start and we can play this you can see from there you might, you might have seen it there's some different things 2k sin city Ooh, what's that all about well i'm making a 1k and a 2k city challenge map handcrafted completely handcrafted and uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing and again they're going to be on the discord very soon along with some mods and some other pois unique to this channel so that little silly thing that i mentioned at the beginning how do you make a 1k completely flat empty map well i found out in the editing tools that if you go to world editor you can see all the worlds that you have been editing but if you create a new world then you can have the option to make an 8 
for two or one K map. And if you do do that, I've loaded up this one K square here. You can load up a map and uh, you got something which is great for if you're making a video or you just want to mess about and see what a point of interest might look like. You could do that in here. And why would you do it in here? Well, that's because it doesn't take a lot of memory on your computer just to have a 1K map. There's hardly anything going on here. So let's say you wanted to mess about with a POI and see what was going on just for fun. Well, if you want, you type F1, type in trees. We'll remove all the trees. I'm going to head down to the bottom here. I'm going to click on Z to make this little blue box. This is in the world editor, of course. Hit K and then click dynamic prefabs. And then what I could do is I could just pick something that I wanted to, um, oops, Daisy, that I wanted to actually look at, like downtown building, and I could place it in there. And then I could have a look at this, and oh, look at this, it is the Stand Tower and the Mega Crush, something that I have recently been working on again, going to be shared with you in the Discord. This here, on the other streaming platform, I have been taking and rebuilding, and I have taken this entire top section and transposed it on top, and I have rebuilt a Mega Crush company and created a pathway through the whole thing. So we're going to get a brand new handcrafted POI. And it's rather good fun. So if you want any of this, you know what to do. Click the buttons and all of that. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah.